Okay, the point is that we had our um, bevy of ADA tools when we introduced some C++ in part for political experimental reasons is when we first introduced a subsystem in C and C++ and whereas it should have been or we expected it to be trivial uh, we had to go through a lot of pain and uh, roll your own tools to be able to achieve the same which we already had for ADA. Okay, cross-language issues. I mentioned that we have these wrappers and the exception handling um, was a challenge, but we did manage to address it. Um, I can't quite see what time it is, but I see it's close. Um, but it is in your handouts, so in case you care. Uh, but basically, we had to, uh, at the boundary where we were crossing from one language to the other, we had to find a mechanism for crossing the exception uh, across the language boundaries so that we can handle it appropriately. Um, because we usually uh, have this uh, trace back that we capture for debugging. Uh, wherever we finally uh, stop the exception, we want to see the trace back all the way to the line of code that raised the exception. Uh, well, that complete trace back is broken at the, at the point where you cross the language boundary. And so therefore, we capture it before we cross the border, and, and uh, then we cross the border, and then we capture that much. This is the basic, simple uh, explanation. Um, we uh, feel, and our vendors feel, that uh, the reason we tend to be successful is because we have the appropriate level of discipline and process. Um, but I'm not going to bore you with the uh, advertisement. Uh, with CMMI level 5, and a you all know that ADA is more than just a language. I'm preaching to the converter, converted here. Um, somebody else said this, I think maybe Rod, uh, that when you interview people, if they don't want to learn Spark, then they just, you don't hire them. We similarly have not found issues with uh, hiring ADA programmers because we don't look to necessarily hire ADA experienced programmers. We've been uh, successful in hiring software engineers and then training them in-house um, to program in ADA. But we do have uh, an established ADA workforce. In summary, we have interesting programs uh, in ADA and they do have a long life cycle, so we see ADA as uh, being around for years to come. Uh, we will uh, continue to see vendors supporting ADA, I, I hope. And um, it is a niche market, but uh, it is um, critical for our safety, so therefore uh, I hope we'll uh, care for it appropriately. Um, I just included a few uh, pictures of systems, but as you heard throughout today, some of these are not um, all ADA content. Many of them, in fact, is, are mixed, and some of them are more or less ADA content. It's just so cool, especially that most of the audience is uh, guys. It has to be cool to look at all these planes. Um, and this, this one, I just added this picture. I think it's great, space-based infrared. Uh, and, and some of the systems, I just can't include the picture. Um, and I won't uh, start this video no, now, but it's, uh, it was great when Lockheed Martin came out with this video because for the first time my family could watch a little uh, YouTube video and kind of sort of get what I'm working on. It's romanticized, but it's kind of cute. Okay, um, that's all I had to say. And looks like we made up for lost time. Any questions?